Hello my friends, I'm B and this is B's Intuition. Today we're gonna do a reading about what are the vibes like right now? Like what is like, yeah, current energy, current vibes happening right now, okay? Let's just dive right into it. Please and thank you, Spirit. What are the vibes right now for the collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. What are the vibes right now for the collective? Anything else? Please and thank you. Please and thank you, Spirit. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. So. Seven of Swords came out in this direction. Five of Swords upright. Hermit card upright. Ten of Cups upright. Three of Wands this direction. So with that Seven of Swords coming out like this, I feel like maybe something that you feel is being sneaky, whether it's a situation or a person, um, I think that you being suspicious of something there is making you do something we're definitely going to clarify that but it's like it, i feel like there's something about you being suspicious of something or someone and that motivates you to act a certain way five of swords this could be conflict or i'm kind of getting like cutting them off kind of energy for some reason we'll see what that's about uh, the Hermit card. I feel like maybe you just came out of a time of solitude or you're coming into a time of solitude. Could be very healing for you. Ten of Cups. I feel like you're going to be very happy soon. Um, and we're definitely going to figure out what exactly is making you so happy. Three of Wands coming out in this direction. I think that there's some sort of plan or something that you're executing here. And it's like propelling you forward in a very positive way. Also, we have seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So maybe there's patience that's required for a certain situation. Okay. Let's just dive right in and start clarifying. Please and thank you, Spirit. Starting with that seven of swords. Please and thank you. Can you clarify that seven of swords for us? What's going on with that seven of swords for the collective? Please and thank you. What was the current vibe with that? Please and thank you. Okay, let's see. Anything else with that Seven of Swords? Please and thank you, Spirit. Anything else you'd like to tell us about that Seven of Swords? Okay. So, Seven of Swords, the situation that you feel suspicious about somebody doing something sneaky, clarified by the Seven of Cups. So, the reason why you're thinking a situation or something or someone is sneaky is because you don't see it clearly. You could think that somebody here is a player. Or whatever the situation is, there's like a lot of options for this situation to choose from. So maybe if it's a job that you're suspicious of, maybe it's like they have other people to hire or something. Like just being one of many choices could be something that is um, bothering you. Or it could be just the fact that you're not seeing things clearly right now. And so you're confused and you're thinking that somebody is doing something sketchy. And it feels like that something sketchy is causing you to do something. Maybe you wanna cut off this person or something, or the situation if it's something that you feel is sneaky. Even if you don't have a clear idea of what it is, or if it's even true. Um, oh, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you could think somebody here is a player. And in terms of work, this could be um, pretty much a smooth talker. Somebody that doesn't really back up what they say, but they're really good at talking the talk. So maybe if it is a job that you feel like something sneaky is going on, could be that you're like, you feel like you're being full, like filled with nonsense or BS or something. Um, but it's almost like the not knowing is driving you to do something. I, what else for that seven of swords, please, make you spirit? Okay. Okay, this is a law, huh? What the heck, dude? 
This is a lot. Okay, well, it clearly wants to tell me a story here, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Okay, now we have Emperor coming out in this direction. King of Swords coming out in this direction. Four of Cups, this direction. Nine of Wands, this direction. Temperance, this direction. Um, Death card in the reverse, star card upright, knight of cups, bottom of the deck, hanged man. Mm. So. Oh, I see. I see what you're doing. You're taking back your power. You're like, wait a second. I'm a boss here in my own right, so what am I doing here? wasting my time with some sort of suspicious situation, you know? So I feel like you taking back your power, realizing your worth could be sort of propelling you forward here. Also the King of Swords coming out like that, I feel like maybe you're being a little bit closed off, cold. Um, you could just be like less emotional with this person or situation. If you were, like maybe more emotionally available, it seems like you're kind of Closing that off here. And I feel like you make it very clear with that Four of Cups. You're like, I deserve better. I deserve better than somebody that's doing all of that. Yeah. And then that Nine of Wands. You've been hurt a million times. Why would you stick around to be hurt one more time, you know? Temperance card, you're choosing your own healing. And it might be on your own that you're gonna be doing that healing, but you're ready. You're ready to do like that healing. So if this is a situation that has been putting you through it, making you stressed out, causing just like a lot of like emotional turbulence, you're just like, no, I'm going to cut this out because I am worth way more than this situation is showing me right now. The death card in the reverse is very interesting to me. Oh, I see. Um, so that death card in the reverse is telling me that you're ready to close this out, whatever this is, but the other party I think is not ready to close this out and that's what the death card is coming out in the reverse for. The reason they don't want to close out this cycle with you is because they see you as probably their wish fulfillment, like dream person, like something about you is very out of this world, very special. They could also see that you're very healing. Like there's a lot of things to love about you in this person's eyes, especially. And so they're like not wanting to close the door on this connection. They could be trying to show you. Yeah, they could be trying to come in now. I honestly feel like you're ready to move on from this person. You're getting ready and maybe your energy is even showing it. But then it's like, maybe as soon as you start to show that you're being closed off to this person, they start to wiggle their way back in. Or situation, whatever it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it is a decent amount of cup action and water. Um, and with that hanged man at the bottom of the deck, I think that they just went through a hanged man experience. Something in their life made them incredibly uncomfortable and it caused them to sit with themselves and reflect. And whatever the sneaky nature is that you were picking up on, this player energy, this person realized that they were doing something wrong and they are way more spiritually enlightened now because they took out this time to feel that uncomfortable energy of self-reflection maybe even analyzing one's own actions. They also could be more enlightened to the significance of the connection. Maybe it was something that you felt right off the bat, but this person maybe was resistant to it, closed off to it, emotionally unavailable to it. 
but it feels like now they know and they see things much clearer. They have a completely different perspective of this connection um, as opposed to how they were in the past, which I feel like, yeah, they were not behaving well in the past and maybe they're gonna come towards you to kind of express that because they clearly have a lot of feelings for you that they want to express to you and they don't want to close this out. And they really admire you and what you have going on in your life right now. You, you just have a very special quality to yourself that this person is very drawn to. So I honestly feel like maybe they're... Oh, there could have been a break in communication here while this person went through their hanged man period. And while you were closing things out, there could have been a period of silence between the two of you. And now it's like this person suddenly wants to get talking again, suddenly wants to come back in and fix things. Um, yeah, they could definitely see you as like some sort of wish fulfillment or manifestation or like something about like being an ideal partner or something. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go into this five of swords because I want to see what that's about. Please and thank you, spirit. What do you have for that five of swords? What is the energy? The vibes. What are the vibes with this five of swords? Favors, please and thank you. Favors, please and thank you. Oh, mama mia, we've got some spicy meatballs right here. Okay, clarifying that five of swords. Ten of wands in the reverse. That feels like somebody is easing some sort of burden. Um... Two of Swords. It's a difficult decision to make, easing somebody's self of a burden. Chariot, forward movement. Four of Wands. Either a personal celebration, personal milestone, or a union coming together. The Empress. A counterpart to the emperor, which we already had. Mm. Oh, bottom of the deck, nine of cups. This is a card about wish fulfillment. So it could very well be referring to the person we were just talking about. Because I was saying that, that, that you could be a wish fulfillment for this person. The Five of Swords is a pretty nasty energy. But it... I kind of take it as like a bullying sort of energy. Somebody that tries to take away other people's power. Definitely could be conflict. Sometimes I even see it as mental abuse. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I was picking up the energy with this one that somebody feels broken after going through a five of swords energy. This could be something that you dealt with, this five of swords energy, but it feels like it's maybe not your energy. Could be somebody else's energy. Somebody feels very broken after a very, very difficult situation or cycle. They feel broken, incomplete. Hmm. But now with that clarity, that Ten of Wands in the reverse could be that this is, um, 
you know, this at one point was a heavy burden, but it feels like somebody is releasing that. And you know what? I'm just going to say it because this is what's coming through. Um, the person that you felt was being sneaky could be this person and they could have been in some sort of toxic situation that left them feeling very broken, very much damaged. Damaged goods is what I'm getting, which is kind of a sad way to refer to it. Um, but it's like, this this has been a burden building up for quite some time. This could have been a long-term uh, relationship. You know, it could be even possible that this doesn't even have to be specifically a romantic situation. It could have even been a family member that was mentally abusing somebody here. But it built up over time. And this person eventually said, this is not serving me anymore. In fact, it is hindering my growth, holding me back. I need to release it. And maybe they could have been kind of caught up in their head about making that decision. Um, there's a part about the Two of Swords about going outside of your comfort zone. And I feel like this could have been a, an area in which this person had to go outside of their comfort zone to leave a situation that was really badly affecting them. But they didn't know if it was like the right thing to do. It may have been a very uncomfortable situation to leave. They had to trust their intuition. Like, is this truly for me? Or is this hurting me? Should I leave this behind so I have a chance at something better? Yeah, because it feels like this person's ready for new. And the old was just hurting them. And so they finally said, enough. And it almost feels like this chariot is them heading the heck out of there. <laughs> like once they finally make that decision to go outside of their comfort zone make that difficult decision leave that behind not only are they leaving that with enthusiasm it feels like they're coming maybe towards you now like now that their plate has been cleared they see exactly what they want and they're going for it they could also feel like maybe um some sort of like divine meant to be sort of energy with this connection as well. That could be what this person is thinking. And it feels like when they come towards you, what they want is union with you. You know, and now that I'm seeing it through this specific lens, looking back at this first part of the reading where I got like the Emperor, King of Swords, all coming out in this direction, if I want to read it from this person's point of view, it could be that this person realized that they were being suspicious and so, or that they were being shady or that they were connected to somebody, whether or not they were being hurt by that person, um, kind of doesn't really matter if they're objectively with somebody else. And maybe from your perspective even, it's like, okay, I still need to know that information, right? <laughs> um, if this person was keeping that from you. And then this could have been them finally leaving that person behind, maybe cutting off their emotions to that person, realizing their own power, realizing that they have way more power in this situation than they believed that they did at one point even, moving away from something that is really emotionally unfulfilling at the very least, something that could have been very damaging to this person. Could have even been making them more bitter, more jaded, more emotionally closed off. 
and maybe they realize this. And then the temperance card, they want to heal. They want to heal their heart. They want to heal love. And so then that's probably why they'd like to come towards you, who is a healer. They could also just see that this connection would be healing if they were to join with you. So, yeah. So, well, actually, now that I see it like that too, you two could have very much a mirroring energy between the two of you. You could be acting very similar, just on different sides of it, if that makes any sense. Because if we sort of view it now like that, and this person is embodying the emperor potentially, the reason why they're coming forward towards you is because they see you as their perfect counterpart, the empress. You could definitely be in this energy of not like, I feel like, yeah, you're not the one that's making the effort here. This person's making the effort towards you. Maybe in the past, you were the one that put in the effort. But I feel like right now, or whenever this person comes towards you, you're going to be in your receiving energy. You're not going to be in your uh, fighting energy or, you know, go-getter energy. You're going to be in like your relaxed, I'm chill, I'm vibing, I'm doing me. And... Okay. <laughs> I'm getting the message that that is like catnip to this person. Maybe just the fact that you focus on yourself or have been focusing on yourself, maybe focusing on your own personal milestones even, your own expansion, your own abundance. And it could be making this person very much drawn to you. Incredibly drawn to you. So much so that they're making very difficult decisions so that they can come towards you. I mean, hey, that's pretty cool. As long as this person's, you know, a good person. They're making those actions. Oh, I can't hate that. Nine of Cups. I'm not gonna lie. It almost feels like because you're in this Empress energy I'm picking up, could be that you're very emotionally content with just yourself or whatever you have going on in your life right now. You could be very much emotionally fulfilled. And when this person comes towards you, Maybe you're coming from a sort of that perspective where you're just like, well, yeah, you might go into the energy of more so like, well, what can you provide for me in this connection? You know, because if you have everything you want, this person has to add something to your life, you know? Then the other side of it is that, like I was saying earlier, could be a wish fulfillment for this person to come together with you which it feels like it's very strong that this person sees you or the connection between the two of you as a wish fulfillment and so they could very well be like putting all their energy into this and finding like seeking you out searching for you that's an interesting message it's like they're seeking their wish fulfillment and that is you Okay, let's go into the Hermit card. Please and thank you, Spirit. What is going on with that Hermit card? Please and thank you. What are the vibes with that Hermit card? Please and thank you, Spirit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. The Hermit card clarified. Ace of Swords. Seven of Swords. Four of Swords. A lot of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck. The Fool card. Interesting. So what I'm getting is like somebody here goes into their hermit mode, which there was like a self-reflection energy I was picking up earlier with the hanged man at the bottom of the deck earlier. And hermit card is a lot of self-reflection. So this could definitely be this other person that's coming towards you. They could have just went through a hermit phase or they are going through one currently where they're self-isolating, reflecting, figuring out the knowledge within them. And it almost feels like when they go into this like self-isolation, reflection mode, there's some sort of 
awareness, it feels like, that kind of pops up for them. And it could be about how they were acting, about how they were being sneaky, either in a certain situation or maybe just in general. It's like a, an awareness for one's own sneaky tendencies or just the fact that that is how they were being perceived potentially is that they were doing something sneaky. There feels like this awareness of sneakiness that maybe they were sort of subconsciously trying to avoid. Four of Swords. I feel like this is like spiritual advising or <laughs> spiritual guidance. Like I feel like there's this moment of them realizing what they were doing and what they were doing was wrong. And so I almost feel like this reaching out to spirit, asking for guidance or help or yeah, if it was something that was difficult for this person to overcome, maybe they're asking spirit to help them, to guide them out of this energy. Maybe they realize through this reflection and, you know, working with spirit, they realize maybe that that sketchy energy that they were giving or whatever it was that was making them act sketchy could have been based in the fact that this person is insecure. Maybe they never really realized that before. This could be a new awareness for them, like, oh, I'm acting this way because I have insecurities within me or things within me that I feel like don't make me good enough so maybe I feel the need to overcompensate by acting a certain way or behaving in a certain way. I'm also getting that within this reflection, they could have seen that the more that they are embodying that sketchy energy, the more that they are trying to maybe even ignore the fact that they were being suspicious, they could have realized that if I continue down this path and keep acting the way that I'm acting and keep doing what I'm doing, I'm actively pushing what I want away from me. And I'm gonna be on the outside looking in if I don't fix this behavior, if I don't actively try to work on this here. So I think that they're realizing a lot of truths about themselves right now, or they did. This could definitely be past tense. Yeah, because it's like they just realize that this way of behaving, this way of being is not going to serve anyone. And in fact, it's going to hinder them, stop them from achieving the things that they want to achieve or, you know, coming into union with the people that they want to come into union with. Um, full card at the bottom of the deck. So it's like clearly they want a new beginning here. But that new beginning starts with them working on themselves. And I think that's exactly what this hermit card is telling us. That's exactly what this person has been doing behind the scenes. Like this is somebody that's actually doing the work. I do appreciate that a lot. And it feels like this is the kind of work of them actually taking responsibility for the things they've done, the things, um, the ways in which they were acting. It feels like, yes, they're taking accountability. They're realizing, where does this all stem from? What is this doing for me? Is this actively helping me or is it actively hurting me? And is it hurting my chances with the person that I want, for example? And so through them realizing that and realizing that they need to get rid of that if they want any sort of chance at a new beginning with you, I think this person definitely realizes, especially if you're in the Empress energy, you're not going to be accepting anything less than what you deserve and you shouldn't. So it's like this person realizes that you take yourself very seriously. You are aware of your own value, your own worthiness, 
and you're not willing to accept anything that's subpar. And so this person is doing that work and it's the internal work. That's why there's so much sword energy happening. A lot of thinking, maybe a little bit overthinking, but maybe not necessarily in a bad way. Could be a lot of like overthinking about like, you know, their past, the things they've done, reflecting. But they're also gaining knowledge through this, knowledge of themselves, knowledge of their own behavior and how that affects others. That could have also been what this Five of Pentacles is referring to, is like maybe they realized that they were making you feel this way, either insecure about yourself or feeling left out. Like there's definitely a lot of like realizations that this person is going through by going through this hermit phase. I really, really, really like that. Because this feels like somebody that's not going to just come into your life and say, oh yeah, I did all that work, so you don't got to worry. I'm all, I'm like a brand new person. And you like look at them and you're like, you're the exact same person that I was talking to a month ago or a year ago or whatever. Um, this one actually feels like they have done that work. And this is proving it to me. I think that they actually do have very true, pure intentions with you. I think you make this person very happy. And I think that's honestly, because like if they had that sh shady energy in the past, they know that you're going to be kind of suspicious of that. And you're going to see them in a certain way. So it's like, yeah, you clearly have to fix that so that we are aware that you have pure intentions, right? <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I like it because it feels like this is actually somebody that's willing to put in this work on a personal level because that's where the, the and that's the thing. Like nobody can make somebody do this type of work. It has to come from the desire within to do it. Only I can make myself do this kind of work. I can't. Um, nobody else can force me to do this kind of work. And so it feels like this person I don't know if it took them a long time to come to this point, but they're finally, or they just are, doing that work. And that is the difficult work, being in the hermit mode, because you have to stay still and you have to, you know, reflect on yourself, on the things you're doing, on the things that you want to do, the things that make you happy even. Yeah. I do actually kind of like the uh, juxtaposition. I don't know if that's even how it's pronounced. I probably pronounced it wrong. Uh, but it's like, yeah, the contrast here between the Hermit and the Fool card could very well be like this person kind of has a new outlook on things when they come out of this Hermit phase. They could feel invigorated, refreshed, renewed, rebirthed. You could notice a lot of differences in this person, maybe. Maybe the way that they communicate with you is completely different. Maybe the way they present themselves is completely different. I feel like you're gonna be able to tell, though, that they've been doing some sort of work behind the scenes. Okay, let's go on to that 10 of cups. Please and thank you, Spirit. What's going on with that? 10 of cups, please and thank you. Please and thank you. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are the vibes with the Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups. Let's see. One fell on the floor. Let me just see what that is. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, clarifying that Ten of Cups. We got three of swords. Knight of Wands, uh, this way. Two Wands, upright. Judgment card, upright. Bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Swords. Ooh, okay.
Okay, um, this is interesting. So I'm getting like the energy of this person's mindset. So with the Three of Swords, this person's gone through a lot of pain. Maybe specifically in love or just multiple areas of life. Maybe even family. Something about them like having a rough go at it. Yeah, this could have been something that started in childhood that the pain. And I almost feel like, well, this is what this person is feeling or thinking is that pain almost sort of caused them to act in that maybe player like energy. And if it is specifically with love, maybe that makes kind of some sense because it's like, if you think about it, maybe this person was embodying more so of a player energy so that they, so that they didn't become vulnerable with anyone, never got too close with anyone, never got disappointed by anyone. But they, it wasn't fulfilling for this person. It wasn't making them happy. It could have even just been adding to their suffering, adding to their su struggle, adding to maybe mental insecurities or negative thoughts. Yeah, being in that player mode wasn't serving them and this person started to realize it if they weren't realizing it before. That, yeah, it definitely feels like their past is what caused them to be in that player mode if that is that suspicious energy you were picking up on, which it could very well be. And so maybe for a while they were kind of blaming their past, but yeah. With the Knight of Wands coming out in this direction, it feels like this person's realizing, wait a second, this is not helping me. This is actively holding me back and maybe even preventing me from my ultimate happiness because this is all clarifying the Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment, happily ever after kind of stuff. And then there's that Two of Wands. That Two of Wands to me is very much that mode of mentally pondering something here and I think it's just what we've been talking about is that that past pain around love kind of influence I'm gonna say influence because I don't think it could make somebody turn into a player but it influenced this person to become more so of a player but now they're realizing this and they're reflecting and they're realizing this ain't good this is not it this is not the winning recipe here I also feel like the sense of I can do better like not necessarily you saying that to this person but it's like this person realizes that they can do better than being just the knight of wands they have su substance. They probably want a connection of substance. And then I see them making those plans. To give up this way of living. They could see things from a different perspective now. It feels like they... They know what direction that they want to head in and it's not the direction that they were heading in in the past. So if they were kind of, you know, living that, for lack of a better term, playboy lifestyle, <laughs> um, they're switching that around because they're realizing that that is not what they want and that is not what's going to emotionally fulfill them.
the Judgment card. So this almost feels like a um, coming to God moment almost. Maybe it could have really all hit this person at once. These epiphanies or realizations. Maybe it could have been a little bit overwhelming. I feel like there's a strong hand of spirit in this. If this person is not spiritual, that would probably explain why this felt like a ton of bricks that hit them all at once. Um, because I feel like spirit is definitely guiding this person to do that internal work, to change around their behavior, to become a better person for you. So that not only will this be a happily ever after for them, but it will also be a happily ever after for you if you choose this person, right? Or at least that's their plan, right? And also this judgment card could be indicating that that's kind of what they want here is to come towards you for you to make that final judgment here of this connection. It's like once this person figures out what they were doing wrong, make those changes, they could be trying to come in for you to make your decision. It almost feels like they're going to be in a, or they at least want to be in a better shape or a better form of themselves when they come towards you to sort of be judged, I guess. I think that you're definitely going to be embodying the Queen of Swords energy when this person comes towards you. I feel like you're going to be very communicative with this person. I don't think you're going to really make mince words um yeah this person sees that though they see that you are smart you see things that not everybody sees and there's no bsing you that's what this person realizes and you're not the one you're not the one to mess with either that's what this person realizes you're also very good with boundaries, so if there's any boundaries that you need to set with this person, you will make them. <laughs> um, if you want to cut things off with this person, you will let them know that. Like, it feels like you're going to be very straightforward with this person. Especially if they tried to do anything kind of funny with you in the past, I feel like you might not have as much patience for this person. Um, but... We saw the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck earlier, and I think that this could be referring maybe to you. Maybe this situation does take a little bit of patience on your end. So maybe there's a need to just hear this person out at the very least, but if they are showing up in a different energy, I don't think you're going to have any issues with that, maybe? Like, it feels like... If they show up in the right energy, you probably will give them um, their chance to kind of speak their piece. Uh, but definitely if they're not showing up in the right energy, you're not going to entertain this person at all. <laughs> and I think that that's what this person realizes. Because you take yourself very seriously. You see your own value. You see your own worthiness. And so it's like, if they come in and do not show that they know that too your own worthiness, your own value, they know that you are just going to cut them out or cut, shut them off. Shut them off, shut them out, you know. I. So they're going to be coming in the right kind of energy. <laughs> Spirit just told me they have no choice but to come in the correct energy, so okay. That's something. Let's go on to that three of uh, wands now. Please and thank you, Spirit. What's going on with that three of wands? What's the vibe with that? Please and thank you, Spirit. Ooh. Okay. Okay. This, though. Okay. Okay. Clarifying that three of wands. We got the Magician. We have Ace of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. The Hermit. Six of Cups. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hello, soulmates. 
So, the Three of Wands came out like this, if we remember from earlier. Don't hate me for saying this, but you actually might consider this person. Like, seriously consider them. Especially if they're showing up in the right energy. Because that Three of Wands is almost telling me that you see that this person has been putting in that work to make a plan, at least on, at the very least, just to heal, grow, you know, for themselves. But also, yeah, it feels like you're, you're now seeing, you're opening your mind. I don't know if you're going to be like, ecstatic <laughs> I doubt that actually because of that four of pentacles I feel like you could be kind of closed off to this person when they're presenting themselves to you but I think it's the hermit card and that would be them showing up as the hermit like showing that they did that internal work I think that's what's going to change your mind because it's not like just them coming towards you and expressing themselves is not going to wow you you know this person has to show that they did the work and i think that's exactly what they're prepared for and they will show you that and i think you're gonna be like okay i'm not i'm not used to you like because you might be used to like people like coming in and saying that they did the work but they haven't and so i almost feel like you could actually be caught off guard a little bit where you're like oh this person actually did do the work i wasn't prepared for that part okay recalculating kind of thing um i think that with this magician card this person's gonna come in and they're gonna be like they're gonna show you that this is what they want more than anything like they oof i'm getting goosebumps and i got long sleeves on so that's funny um, like they did all of this work internal reflection I'm getting it's all for you I honestly maybe that's why you're open minded to it there's something genuine about this person that I feel like you can feel through their energy the way that in which they communicate there's something kind of soft about them. And maybe this softness is new. Maybe you didn't see this soft side to them before, but maybe there's, oh, I think they're gonna be vulnerable with you. That's, I think, the difference. This person probably was not vulnerable before. They could have been keeping a lot to themselves, actually. And so while that sort of caused conflict, feels like, wow, maybe now they're ready to open up to you and really express just how insanely badly they want this, this connection to come together. Like I'm even getting with that three of wands that maybe even like just making plans for the future together. Like it doesn't even have to be like, I mean, this person does feel like they are very much They at least very much really like you. They could be in love with you. I don't know if it's to their, that extent yet. Um, but it's almost like they're not really, I don't know. They would just be happy if you just even considered it is pretty much the energy I'm getting. Like, I don't know. Like they don't wanna force you into anything that you don't feel comfortable with. They don't wanna, you know, manipulate you they just really want this to come together in some way and so with that ace of pentacles that could definitely be where this sort of starts out like hey you want to build something together something stable but at four of pentacles i kind of see as you maybe being a little bit closed off to this person which, you know, um, based on your past experiences with this person could be completely valid. Yeah, so you might be a little bit suspicious of this person. Cool.
closed off to them, not really sure if you want to hear them out, not really sure if you want to believe this person. But they're going to show up in that hermit energy. And that hermit energy is going to show that, show you the wisdom that this person has gained through that internal reflection and that self-isolating, taking time out for themselves, to be by themselves, to listen to themselves, and also maybe communicate with spirit too. Because again, I do feel like spirit is in this connection. Like spirit is involved in this or trying to orchestrate it, push it put it together. I don't know. I do feel the strong hand of spirit in this though. With that Six of Cups energy, honestly, you could have good memories of this person. This person could make you feel safe. This person could bring out your inner child, maybe a more carefree sort of energy. Past life energy could be very significant as well. Maybe this person sees you as a past life connection, or maybe you feel that. Maybe there's some sort of draw that you can't really quite explain. Especially with that two of cups at the bottom of the deck. You two feel a mutual pull towards one another. Yeah, it's like at the end of the day, you do have feelings for this person. And if this person shows up in the right energy and shows you that they've done the work, you will hear them out and you will, you will potentially want to grow with this person or build something with this person. You may not see it completely as like, you know, I'm going to marry this person tomorrow. Like, I don't think it's going to be anything like that, but. I feel like as long as you're slowly building something, I think that's kind of the way you want to go about this. Because it's like, they, this person definitely still kind of needs to build back your trust in some way, I think. But it's like, once that has been obtained, I feel like you could build with this person and that's what you're seeing. Like there's a lot of potential here, especially if this person did that work. And I think you're going to pick up on whether or not this person did that work. You're going to feel it through their energy and the way that they show up. They're going to back up that statement, you know, if they did do that work, they're going to show you that they did that work. I really like that. And again, with that two of cups at the bottom of the deck, this could be a very beautiful connection for the both of you. Equal give and take, very healing. Building a home together, potentially, if you wanted to go down that route. And again, that card of patience here, because it keeps coming through as patience. So this whole connection could take some patience. Patience to allow this person to build that trust back up with you. Patience to see this develop slowly over time. Okay. All right, let's just ask the Oracle if there's any other uh, messages for the collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. Any other messages for the collective regarding this situation and the vibes? Please and thank you. Hello and thank you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bear. Any other messages for the collective, baby? Okay, one more time. Ooh, I'm gonna shuffle up this here. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Okay. So we just got one card. And that is card that says, oh my gosh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Control. And I believe that this is representing the strength card. Oh, I see. Oh. So if you struggle with patience and um, 
compassion. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say that you struggle with compassion and patience because I almost feel like typically you have no problem with those things. Or at least you practice them and, you know, you're used to the, that, doing that. But I feel like this is a particular situation in which you may want to kind of be cold, cut off from any sort of emotion, detached even. And I feel like with this, with this control card, I think you're going to have to, well, I don't want to say you have to, but I think spirit would like you to try your best to sort of control that negative. And that's not to say that you can't share what's on your mind. Like if this person hurt you in the past, obviously like articulate that to them so that they know. Um, but it feels like specifically when it comes to hearing this person out and being because it could be kind of sore still. Like, you know, whatever this pain was that this person caused you, or the, even if it wasn't really pain, it was just confusion, you know? Like, it could very much trigger your past hurt and cause you to be really, like, like shut off to this person. And I feel like there's this... Yeah, spirit wants to kind of encourage you to kind of be com more compassionate and patient when it comes to communicating with this person, when it comes to hearing their side of things. Maybe a little bit difficult, but it feels like it's going to be worth it if you're able to be compassionate and patient and you hear this person out and you really let them speak what's on their heart, what's on their mind. Bottom of the deck is heal, and I believe that this is the temperance card. I'll definitely check that um, to double check. But heal, yeah. And if it is representing the temperance card, we had the temperance card earlier. There could be a lot of healing that happens when you embody that strength card energy of being compassionate, controlling that inner the inner beast, I guess, because I feel like your shadow self, ah, that's what it is, controlling that shadow self within you, because I feel like that the, this specific situation could really trigger your shadow aspects to really jump out and maybe go down this person's throat, you know, like, I don't know, something along those lines. And so it's like, okay, let's try and keep ourselves grounded and try our best to be neutral about this person until we can see what this person's intentions are and hear them out and stuff about what they've gone through and then as a result this could actually heal for you if this has been a sore spot for you if this has been a confusion confusing situation um for you there's a great um great amount of healing that is possible here when you are able to sort of keep that grounded headspace. Yeah, okay, let's, um, I'm just gonna double check to make sure that I was um, right about these being strength and temperance. Let's see. Okay, let's go to control. Yes, strength card, okay, this is heal. And that is, oh, the star card. Okay, we had the star card earlier too. Um, well, yeah, healing is definitely a part of the star card as well. Oh, that's why they want you to control your shadows part. Because it's like when you're not in that shadow space, you have so much compassion. Your heart is huge and overflowing. And you are this master healer. Not only could you help this person heal, but this connection could really be healing for the both of you. You also just have such a divine quality about you that I feel like you can bring healing into any situation. Oh, 
So yeah, like when you're tapped more into your light aspects, when you're being your bubbly, beautiful self, by being in that energy, you heal just naturally. It's like that frequency, that vibration that you're in when you're in that higher vibration is like so healing, so beautiful. And I think that's what spirit wants to encourage you to do when it comes to this situation. Wow, that's so beautiful. I really like that. Um, yeah, so that's the reading. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, and if it resonated at all, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, you can become a part of the Hive Collective because my name is Bee. Bees live in hives and you can become an honorary bee like me and we can be a little bee family together. If you like my readings and you'd like to see more, be sure to click that bell icon down below so that YouTube actually notifies you the next time that I upload. And thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.